in part one of my video, I told you that I was going to extend the uh, tube from the, uh, the transducer up more toward the, the front of the boat. And here's what it looks like in actual uh, installation. I haven't put the fluid in yet, but what I did is I took this tube off, this existing tube, um, and I shortened it a little bit. And I secured it very uh, strongly with a, another zip tie uh, on, that, uh, on that little uh, nipple there. Hopefully that'll stay on. Um, and then I came down and I put a barb fitting on it and then I put a, a larger uh, vinyl uh, tube on uh, to run to the front of the boat. Uh, these are Oedeker clamp fittings. This is just a barb nipple, a one quarter inch barb nipple that fits both, both of these, um, which is good. And so I ran that <clears throat> up to the front of the boat. Uh, you fix it underneath here. Uh, don't let it get too close uh, to, to the water box. And then it comes up to my reservoir right here. And what I'll do now is um, I'll go ahead and um, unhook, unscrew the connectors here, the, uh, the screws here, and then I'll start filling the um, filling up the transducer well with fluid. Uh, to make this a lot easier, what you can do is get yourself a long-handled screwdriver. This is a Pengong uh, nine, uh, five millimeter extra length uh, screwdriver, uh, Phillips screwdriver. That's what you need uh, to be able to get down into those little, uh, little I think those are number two uh, sheet metal screws, the self-tapping sheet metal screws. And I'll undo those and pop that off just a little bit. And then I'll fill this up and let it um, overflow. So let's see if I can fixture this. <clears throat> Okay, and I'll back that off, and I'll back the other three off, and then we'll start to fill up. GoPro, stop recording.